Hey folks, it's Mike. Um, I'm, uh, well, as you can see from the, uh, the weather uh, in, you know, the beginning of this video, um, it's, we had a major snowstorm. Um, and uh, as you can see, I'm, I'm taking uh, Addy out here for, for, for some walkies. And um, yeah, at, at this point, since I'm sort of stuck at home, I figure I'd do a little bit of, uh, of uh, toy photography. And uh, well, let's go. Oh geez, he hit that raft. What's that raft doing out there? Jerry? Jerry, you okay? That looked like it hurt. Oh geez, I think he really hurt himself. Jerry? Jerry, you want me to call your mom? She's probably got some band-aids for you. Jerry? Oh geez, I should call his mom. Jerry? Jerry? Watch out, there's probably sharks in the ocean there. Jerry? Oh geez, what if there's sharks out there? What do I do? Jerry? Jerry! Be right back! We're gonna get a rescue helicopter for you. Stay right there! Jerry? Okay, so as you can see with the, the setup, I've got uh, my tripod, which is facing uh, the model. Well, you know, a, it's a Lego model of uh, a helicopter with a you know with the shark uh, sitting in inside of it, and uh, of course, uh, you know, I'm going to what I'm going to do is to cast uh, a, uh, a background photo of uh, the sky uh, onto. Uh, my uh, my TV uh, using uh, my phone, uh, so I'll just uh, and I've got uh, Chromecast uh, on uh, on my computer or on my TV for that matter. So I'll just cast starts and then go here. And uh, as you can see, I've got uh, this guy uh, being projected uh, onto my TV, and uh, I can, you know, pretend that uh, this helicopter is flying in the sky. So uh, what I'm doing here is making a, uh, a composite here, um, where I'm taking one shot of just the uh, the sky uh, being, you know, uh, cast onto uh, my TV. And then another shot with the helicopter uh, on a uh, cardboard box. And then uh, in Photoshop, what I'll do is to essentially um, remove the box and so that I've, I've essentially got just the helicopter floating in the, uh, the sky as, as you would expect. Great, just great. We better go check out the damage on the Falcon. Yeah, we should call the uh, Galactic Starship Association to, uh, to tow us out. What do you mean? You were supposed to renew it. 
Chewy, any damages to the engines? <coughs> great, just great. I've fallen into the snow. Chewy, get me out of the snow. <coughs> Don't you dare throw that snowball at me. <laughs> great. Just great. All right, so here's the setup that I've got here. I've got uh, a, the toy Millennium Falcon. I've got uh, Han and Chewie uh, action figures. Uh, I've also got a, an external flash with a transmitter and a receiver. Um, and a three-foot octobox, and uh, I'll be putting the, uh, the flash into the octobox. And uh, most important of all, kids, when you're playing with flash, make sure you have batteries that actually work, because uh, it would suck if you didn't. <sighs> As you can see, I've got uh, the Falcon and Han and Chewie uh, buried in the snow there and uh, I've also got uh, a uh, the three-foot octobox with uh, the uh, external flash uh, pointing towards the the shadow side of the Falcon just to give it a little bit of extra light uh. I think I may be stuck. Well, crap. We're recruiting for a third Sith Lord. What are some of your favorite activities? I like long walks on the beach, looking at cute pictures of cats, toe beans, and shaving my legs. What do you think? We're recruiting for a third Sith Lord. What? What's with the tie-dye? I just think uh, tie-dye is a great expression of fashion, man. We're recruiting for a third Sith Lord. Wait, are you Jar Jar Binks? Misa turned to the dark side. You should call me Darth Jar Jar. You should call me master now. No! We're recruiting for a third Sith Lord. Give us your best fierce look. Yeah. We are looking to add a third Sith Lord. How proficient are you with a lightsaber? I'm really, really good. I've only hurt myself with the laser sword like only five times in the last week. Hey. Hey, down here. Good. All right, so I may not have a body. I might not be able to hold a lightsaber. I'm just a brain in a jar, but I'm an evil brain in a jar. Misa, the perfect Sith candidate. Misa single-handedly destroy the Galactic Senate. Misa also going to give Boss Nass a wedgie. Hippie Bob no here. Misa get rid of Hippie Bob. He saw no evil. I saw is evil. Anarchy rules. Besides, the Death Star could use a little bit of punk music. Punk is awesome. I'd be the perfect Sith Lord. I got all A's in all of my classes, except for that D in gym class. Whatever. And Mom says I could be a good Sith Lord, too. She'll even bring me milk and cookies, too, which would be perfect on the Death Star. So these Sith auditions aren't going as planned. Oh, jeez. Can I get someone to remove this hair off of me? Sure thing, Mr. Vader. Oh, that's it. No! I'm sorry, Mr. Vader. I'm using a uh, remote shutter release on my camera and putting the camera on a tripod so that uh, I can uh, keep things steady and uh, 
use a low ISO at a slow enough shutter speed to let in enough light. I've got the scene set up uh, at my desk with a uh, Kodox LED light, which I can, you know, change colors and, and, and brightness, uh, you know, shining down on the scene. And uh, I chose a red color to set sort of a dark, sithy mood. And uh, just for fun, a TIE fighter with an umbrella, because hey, it's fun. The walls are black pieces of foam board that I got from the, uh, the dollar store, and the, uh, the floor is a uh, Lego base plate that I've, I've had for years. And, uh, you know, everything else you see in here is, is actually made of Lego. So for the, uh, the scene with Rocket Boy, uh, you know, the, the audition scene, it's, uh, it's actually two images. Um, one with, you know, Rocket Boy and, and the rest of the scene in there. And then uh, I shot a, a second image where I uh, lit up uh, the, the lightsaber with uh, a flash, flashlight from above. And then uh, in Photoshop, just combine the two and to, uh, you know, to, to, to what you see. I will admit, I'm not as much into toy photography as, as my wife. Um, she's got a greater interest in it, and she's, she's, she's done some neat things, as, you know, as you'll see in some of the photos that uh, I'm, I'm going to throw up here. Um, and uh, you know, I've asked her uh, some questions about uh, some of the stuff that uh, she's done and, and she uses. Um, to, uh, to start, she's using mainly a Canon 5D Mark II with a 100mm uh, uh, macro lens uh, just because she wants to get in tight with the, uh, with the, uh, the figures that she's using and, and the scenes. Um, she also uses uh, a tripod and a remote shutter release to um, you know, keep things steady because it's a static scene anyway. Um, you don't need to really move around and such. Um, but she uses other things like, you know, a fog machine, lights, even fireworks uh, for some various, you know, sort of exciting uh, battle scenes, that kind of thing. Just, uh, you know, all to help create a story. I've also asked her why she's into uh, to toy photography. She, uh, you know, just like me, it's, you know, it's fun. It brings out the, uh, the kid in you. It's, uh, you get to play with toys and not actually be seen as weird even though I am weird, what can I say? But uh, it's also something uh, good to do when you've, you know, you want to photograph something, but the weather isn't cooperating. Um, she also says that uh, it's a good opportunity to, to use her creative skills. She, you know, she likes to paint, she likes to uh, make things, and, uh, you know, she likes to build uh, little dioramas to, to help her with, uh, you know, photographing uh, scenes with, with toys and such. Um, and uh, she uses all sorts of materials just to uh, create the dioramas such as foam board, cardboard, you know, pieces of wood, uh, you know, recycled egg containers, popsicle sticks, acrylic paint, that kind of thing. Um, and you know, these, these are materials that you can get uh, pretty much anywhere from like a dollar store or Amazon, a craft store hardware store, uh, you can even go online to like uh, Amazon or AliExpress. And uh, she also says that uh, in the future she she wouldn't mind getting a 3D printer to, uh, to help her build uh, the dioramas that uh, you know, she likes to, uh, to create. Anyway, at this point, uh, I'll probably uh, take Addie back inside, you know, so she can uh, have a nap. Uh, so at this point, uh, uh, just do the usual, like, comment, subscribe, and, uh, well, ciao, folks.